Grove will see you in a few minutes. Right now, recovery re efforts underway after severe weather triggered flooding in some parts of Texas. Nicole Valley shows us how nearly two feet of water means some rivers could stay at flood stage for days. After days of torrential rain, Texas finally getting a chance to dry out Monday. But parts of the state are still dealing with high flood waters, forcing continued road and school closures. The National Weather Service says some communities northeast of Houston got nearly two feet of rain over the past week. Entire neighborhoods have been submerged underwater, leaving residents facing a long cleanup. You could see it's just it's just mud and and soot. So this will all have to be power washed out in Harris County, where Houston's located. Local officials urging those in heavily flooded areas to avoid returning home until conditions improve, warning the murky waters could be dangerous. A couple yesterday uh, tried to go see their homes despite our warnings, and at one point uh, the gentleman had to really hold on to his uh, partner because she was being pulled away by the, by the current. Since last week, storms have forced hundreds of rescues in the Lone Star State. These conditions turning deadly west of Dallas and Johnson County where officials say a four-year-old boy died after being swept away. So many across the state now trying to make sense of the loss of life and property. It's very disheartening, very disheartening just to watch people lose everything time and time again. Rivers across southeast Texas are expected to remain at flood stage for at least the next several days. In Nashville, I'm Nicole Valdez, Fox Weather.